Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. All right, what's up, guys? Hey, everyone. So we are uh, we're back, and uh, as you can tell by the mood lighting, you can tell by the battle map in front of us. We are uh, we're about to get into the shitstorm. We will hopefully have a battle map camera. I don't. You might be able to see it now, but we have my iPhone, uh, so it's a little finicky. So maybe battle cam. If we're not. Use your imagination. We're working on it. We're trying to upgrade for you guys a little bit. But, um, so just a quick by the by what happened last time. Um, I'm gonna just kind of briefly go over the last part. Um, I had a, a quest from the, the Raven Queen, uh, thrust upon me. She said that if I did this, she would give me, uh, eagle powers. Not raven powers, it's different. Um... Uh, Absidy's with Irina, but Strahd is out in front of the church, and he's calling for Tatiana, not Irina. Um, Shart also had a uh, dream where Paul came to you hurt and said he needed to find Vin, and uh, it turns out that what we believe is Dirt, uh, Shart, and Rufio are all in the inn right now that is ablaze. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's we, we know that there's a lot of pandemonium happening right now, and... Uh, I think this is just going to be the uh, the decimation of Velaki. So, DM, whenever you're ready. Um, did you guys want to do anything first? Yes. Uh, can, can I put my armor on? <laughs> no. <laughs> then no. <laughs> no, I think he's talking about something else. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mike's birthday just happened. It was Mike. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, it happened? was also uh, Mike Spillane's birthday. He is part of the Old Fucks Club now. That's um, what they call me. <laughs> we're the, so there's three of us that are 27, and... Josh mm, just got his first Josh, <laughs> Josh is actually the youngest, but has the best beard. Thank you. Uh, I have a good beard, too. That, He's got the best long. beard, though. So we have things to pre pre present onto oh. Michael Spillane Dude, for his... For his day of birth. Ooh, these are tight. Those are the ones that I bought, just Yo. so everyone knows. Thank you for knowing that my favorite color is green, and that I also think black and gray are cool. And so it's uh, Mike's an emo kid. I don't black know if you could tell or not. Socks, hell yeah, God, wear those. Cheer tomorrow. up. What's it, more dice? <laughs> cheer so, up. So we have this is a cup. Both of our gifts just, just presented at once together. So gotcha. we both separately got you dice, and <laughs> conveniently they were different, but <laughs> very similar. But <laughs> also green. Okay, you guys get me. It's green. I like it. And then what's this? So uh, Park Ave has their <clears throat> the mystery bundle sometimes. Yeah. So it's three pops and one adorbs. Nice. So I have no idea what's in there, but the guy said they'd be pretty good. Let's see what we got. I hope it's nothing that I already have. Yeah. Although there's an app that came out that you can actually like track the value based on like average eBay selling price. And oh yeah. I've spent way too much money on these things. That's all I learned. <laughs> Unmasked PX exclusive Deadpool. Nice. X Force cool. Deadpool. That's nice. That's tight, tight, tight. Batman. <laughs> like Batman. Batman's the best. Communists. Not too different. Right. <laughs> Spider Gwen. Ooh, nice. Oh so. yeah. So, so far, more Marvel than DC, good call. <laughs> the gay one. Billy! <laughs> Aww, people I'm, like hey, Billy. I know, I have the Red Ranger and I have Alpha 5, so I'm Thank you guys. You're there. Sweet. Wait, so none of those were ones you had? No. All right, I did yeah, good. Yeah, you did real good. Well, so. dudes. Boom. Dudes, thank you. <laughs> no problem, good. Ninja. Oh, thank you. I, I didn't get him anything, because fuck him. No, you, no, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to shout out Justin because uh, on Facebook, I decided to uh, do one of those fundraisers uh, because I'm not really a person that cares about birthdays much and doesn't really like give a crap about presents. Honestly, super appreciative, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I don't give a shit but, about uh, gifts. I think they're fucking but, dumb. I, I, no, I, I don't like birthdays. I've, I had bad experiences with birthdays as a kid. So because of that, I just don't care about them that much. Um, so I uh, did a fundraiser for the Orlando Pet Alliance to try and raise money because I like animals a lot more than I like people. And uh, Justin donated thirty bucks to it, so I did. Oh, cool! Yeah. Res respect on your name. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The respect on your name. I just, you know, I wasn't sure I was gonna go pop two, but one, I don't know how many you have. Two. Too many. So many. So I figured. If, most of them are mouse, though. Not basically, them, I just honestly. figured if you had something on your Facebook that you wanted, I was like, well, of course I'm gonna donate to this. Yeah. So. And you like animals too. I do. I, I I figured the amount of money I'd probably spend on a gift, I'll just put towards 
your cause that you will. That, yeah. Cool. You know, so now you. we're going to kill a bunch of wolves. Yeah. So happy birthday, Mike. And <laughs> now back into the world. Fuck the oh, wolves. Now I got to test out these dice. Okay. So let's, um, both roll the same thing. let's backtrack a little bit. We got the, I can't, I can't put in the tone of what happened last time, that was but insane. I'll try to bring us up to speed heavy. a little bit. It was heavy doc. Um, when I get nervous, I, uh, I put pop culture references to make myself less nervous. It's a defense mechanism. Um, so basically <clears throat> we had Rufio, you had just grasp the Raven Queen's hand as you jolted back up and the room that you're in is completely engulfed in flame and you hear crackling and smoke is starting to fill your lungs. Short, similarly, you're with Paul and he's starting to cough and his breathing is getting heavy and labored and tells you you have to wake up and as you shoot up, everything is engulfed in flame and Absidy, as you're with Irina, you hear the shouting of Tatiana over and over, this banging at the door that goes silent as the calling for Tatiana goes silent and Irina gets up in her daze. You've seen this before the first time you've seen Strahd. And as she goes to the door, you see with outstretched his hand, his flaming fucking horse behind him is Strahd von Zarevich. So as we go in short, you wake up in the middle of your, <clears throat> your sleep and you are completely in a room engulfed by flame. <sighs> Crab. All the weapons that I can. Okay. And what are you grabbing? I'm uh, grabbing my, <clears throat> grabbing my maul. Okay. My mace. Uh, it's a maul. Maul. You got sorry. it. Sorry. Grabbing my maul. Sure. Grabbing my great axe. Okay. And uh, my two hand axes and going to, uh, going going to Rufio's room. Kicking okay. down the door. Okay. So as you're you're picking everything up, the the fire, the flames are getting higher and higher, and it's too hot to touch. That you literally kick down the door with your foot. And you, you go into the, the archway and the balcony and you see that everything is just completely engulfed in flames and you see inside different undead ripping things apart and setting things on fire and lashing and roaring and screaming and you turn to your right where Rufio's room is and that's when Rufio, you wake up to start kicking down your door and that's when you pop up. Uh, can I <clears throat> like grab my armor and like put it on my back? Is that a thing? You can, I think what we said was you have it kind of like strapped up like a backpack. Okay. Kind of thing. So, so you can put your hands through the loops. I'll do that. And then I'll unsheath the, my, my great sword and I'll start calling for dirt. Okay. I, the undead don't, I don't care. I want to know. Okay. As you go out and you're screaming for dirt, <clears throat> you, you can both roll perception checks. Natural 20. Natural 20. 11. 11. Okay. Um, Shart, with all the different sensory imagery between the different smells and the sounds, you're kind of, your track of dirt kind of like deters uh, off a little bit. But Rufio, you, you are eagle-eyed focused. You were looking for dirt and you, uh, dirt has his own room. And when you go into his room, his room's empty. But you notice that the silver short sword is gone, his shield is gone, and his armor is gone. Uh, is there any note? Is there any nothing? If anything, it would be burned in the fire. Uh, okay. Then m my next move is to go see if Erwin and uh, the kids' rooms are clear. Okay, are you guys communicating anything at I'll, all, or what's? I'll happening? let him know. We need we need to get Erwin and his family out of here. Okay, I I'm I'm gonna police the stairs right now, so nothing comes up here. Move. Yeah. Okay. So you <clears throat> start moving up to the the balcony, and. Uh, as you go into the nest, you everything is just engulfed. Like, it's literally everything is ash. Uh, you can roll another perception check, see if you can uh, see anything. Uh, that's an 11. An 11. It's a little too hard to see. You don't see really any, like, kind of shapes moving. You see all the, the hay kind of just... They live on fucking Tinder. You just see everything kind of just brush up into ash as this attic is just completely engulfed. Uh, I'm going to call up to them to see if they're if they're up there. Okay. Uh, any response? You don't get any kind of response. Uh, Shart, while he's doing this, I need you to take your station at the front of the stairs, and I need you to roll a strength uh, save as two uh, skeletons take notice of you, and they start crawling up and charging up. They're trying to get past you. Strength save? Strength save. Uh, natural 20. Okay. So you you just fucking bash these bitches just down, and they go pile of bones. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> go up and check the rooms. I want to make sure that they're Okay. They're actually out and not. Okay. You go like room by room. I'm going to 
cinematic it a little bit. You go room by room, and it's the same story everywhere. Everything is engulfed, and you can't seem to see anyone. Okay. Uh, Shark, we need to get out of here before this place goes down. Yeah, you think? And as you're doing that, you hear the the attic start to... <laughs> I need you both to... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, both make uh, dexterity saving throws as you run out of the second floor. Uh, that's a modded 20. Nine. Nine. Okay. So as you're going, uh, Shark, a piece of cinder just scalds the back of your leg and you take two points of uh, fire damage as both of you are now on the first floor and it's just swarms of just different beasts and undead and skeletons and, and wolves. What are we doing? Uh, this probably isn't the time to... This is probably isn't the place to pick a fight. <clears throat> yeah, I think... Oh, fuck, we're... A- Absidy's at the church, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I think I know where we gotta go. We're gonna try and get out before okay. interacting with anything. So, the scene as you come out, it's more of kind of what you've seen on the inside, but on a much larger massive scale. There are buildings on fire, different residential homes. You see people in the streets being slain by different undead and skeletons, uh, women and children and, and simple farmers. And amongst them, you see different were-ravens coming down and fighting back, and some of them aren't being as successful. And in the middle of it, you see covered in heavy armor, you see Izik with his broadsword or his greatsword, and that's when he takes notice of you and he looks. And there's just fucking hate in his eyes as he points at both of you and he goes, You. You brought this evil onto us. And that's when we'll move. So, Absidy, Irina is 10 feet in front of you, as you can, or 5 feet. No, 10 feet. 5 feet. Sorry. Five feet in front of you, as she's slowly lurching as Strahd has his hand out. And he go, and he's just calling to her. What are we doing? Um, I call out to her too. Irina. Tatiana, my beloved. I- Tatiana. And it's it's just nothing. She's about twenty feet. Um. I start to run okay. up next to her. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to get her to Go ahead break. and make a strength check. One. Wow. Okay. Brutal. I didn't roll high either. I rolled three and a two. I gave her advantage and she did not roll. Wow. So um, as you're trying to bring her back, you hear a chuckle from Strahd and he goes, pathetic really desperately trying to grab her by what the ankles whatever I can I'm not letting you take her you are going to certainly try aren't we I throw a dagger at him okay go ahead and roll an attack I'm like kinked <sighs> yeah. 11 11 misses so as you throw this dagger he just he sidesteps and <laughs> You were down a dagger. Yeah. And he goes, Is that all you've got, hero? I t- I can't imagine how you've won with heart with what your heights and your abilities, your innate ability to throw a dagger. It's my great personality. Is it? Yeah. You wouldn't know about that, would you? Well, I feel like it's coming up short, just like the rest of you. And he takes another foot, another step up. I step in front of her. Okay. Oh, now you're getting in front of her, huh? You only come up to her knees. I can still see her. I can still get to her. Do I have Do I have any cloaks left? <laughs> you might have uh, two cloaks left. Okay. I was going to do it when we got into a Yeah, uh, just swipe up. It'll go to camera. You know, you can do camera from the lock yeah. screen. Just okay, that makes yeah. sense. Cool, okay. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember. I think you have maybe two cloaks left and one super stretched out. Okay. I think it was one. I think we were down to one. Okay. Down to one. Okay. Um, I take the cloak and I put it over her head. Okay. In hopes that the eye contact is what does is it. Is what breaks it. <clears throat> and as you do so, she is not relenting as she's struggling to fight you to go forward. She goes, you, you are so interesting. You think 
the shroud is going to be Shrod Von Zarovich. You've heard of me, I, I would hope, at this point. Yeah, but I was hoping. Maybe. What do you want? You have what I want. Yes, I have it now. You don't <laughs> have it anymore. She likes me more. Oh, does she? Then why does she come to me? Drugs. <laughs> you use humor to hide your sadness. Look, you don't have to call me out. Fight me. Fight you? I'm not letting you take her. Well, welly, welly, well. And he unsheaths this onyx kind of like pure steel blade. So, it is a fight you want. It is a fight you will get, small one. Okay, roll initiative. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> Demonetized. Demonetized? <laughs> I was just like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, uh, 15. Okay. Uh, let's try that's like plus 11 initiative <laughs> or something. Okay. Okay, so with her first action, Irina is going to move forward. Ten feet. I'm, I, I figure it'd be a little bit fair if she didn't have her full range of motion. <laughs> and then Absidy, you're up. What do I have on me? What did you bring with you to the door? Besides your dagger, did you bring your any weapons? In, or yeah, in my. Know? head, I had everything stacked up against the door. Okay. So I would just grab whatever I could on the way out. Okay. So, so I would imagine rapier, dagger, javelin. Okay. And then, I can, yeah, probably not the bow. So you would have your rapier and your javelin at this point? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, okay. I use my attack mm -hmm. to use the javelin of lightning's power. Okay. I yell white lightning and I throw it at him. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Oh boy, ten. It's in your in your fury and your rage. You're like, you chuck it and it just you overshoot it and it goes over his head as it sticks behind him and you see the arcane energy just fizzle out. And he goes, "That's it. <sighs> Let's make this interesting. Let's see who comes to me first. You." Or the girl. And he's going to hold his action as he holds his sword out in a defensive position. Uh, it is back to Irina's turn. So it's me again? It is you again. Okay. Uh, I move up next to her or okay. in front of her and okay. start pushing her back. Okay, go ahead and roll a strength check. Nat 20. Ooh, she rolled a nat 19, okay. Good job. So you start pushing and you're really like, please, Irina, just move, move back. And you, her, you're keeping her in this place at one point, but your back is turned. So, um, okay. So Strahd is going to move up. All right, he's gonna tap you on the shoulder and he is going to make a stabbing attack to you. And I'm gonna say, because your back's turned, he has advantage on it. Yep. Technically flanked, I guess. She's a friendly creature. To him, yeah. Okay. Um, does a 12 hit? No. Do you have your armor on? No, but it still doesn't hit. Okay. So as he taps, you, you sideswipe and you just see the blade just pass your nose as it comes back up. Does it hit Irina? Does not hit Irina. Um, He's going to attack again. He gets two attacks. Uh, this time not at advantage because you're facing him. Okay, does a 19 hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's not too bad. And so you take uh, seven points of piercing damage as the tip of his sword just pierces through your uh, left shoulder and out the back. And he slowly brings it back out. 
Sorry, my D and D Beyond is being weird. No problem. Getting the API error okay. Yeah. So uh, Irina is going to try to push up against you again to move past you. So I'm just going to do a strength check uh, okay. to see if she succeeds. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, and she she kind of just stays in this dazed kind of state, swaying back and forth. And it's at this time that our priestly friend comes out. And he comes out, he's like, what was all the commotion? It's Strahd. I... I don't, and Shrod just kind of smiles, and he goes, oh, you have the priest in there. Interesting. I don't like that. You wouldn't. And he puts his uh, fingers to his mouth, and he whistles. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I don't have enough pieces. Uh, at this point, you see, out of the brush, 13 wolves come out. Shit. And he goes, he says something in, in um, Vistani, something in Barovian, some old kind of ancient language that you haven't heard. And all these wor- wolves hang on his every word as they look forward, and it looks like they're moving past you. And they zero in on the priest. They're moving or looking past? They're looking where are they? So I'm gonna say they're. Do you want to use those? Here. No, I need those. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> so they're like. Here. Oh, okay. Okay. And um. Yeah, I'm gonna say they charge towards them. Uh, sh- get inside. He. So. I forget what his name. Father. Lucian. 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 Okay, Lucian starts getting inside, and you see the door, and one of the wolves kind of just nudges its elbow as it forces its way in, and you just hear the screams of Father Lucian. And he goes, You could still potentially save him. Anyone else living in there? I don't think. No one is, right? Yeska is. Yeska, oh, uh, yes, dickhead. Lucian. Fuck. No, he lives with foster family. God, call them off. Why would I do that? I don't know. I just want you to. You I gotta sh- give me a l- much better answer than that. Take me. Take you where? I don't know. You seem to just want people to die. <laughs> and you see like this earnest kind of like smile and chuckle. And so with that, we'll move back over to you guys. <sighs> So Isaac has his long sword out. Oh, great sword, sorry. Both hands. We've been here for days. What do you mean it's because of us? One whole day. One whole day. He hasn't been here in years. That's what you think. That's what I know. That's not I've right. lived here. That doesn't mean anything. He's shown up to Fiona's house multiple times. Is that a fact? You can roll deception. That's true, isn't it? He's, she's, he's never visited her. She just worships him. Oh, I'm going to roll deception then. Okay. What is my deception? <laughs> Better than mine. It, oh, barely. Uh, 18. 18? Right, that's pretty high. Let's see what he's got. And he looks and he goes, even if he was here, he hasn't attacked. But now, three new people to come up. And we have a whole bunch of problems. This isn't a fight you want right now, Isaac. And he smirks and he goes, I think it is. Roll initiative. Fucking A. Oh, God. You're also deciding amongst yourselves. I'm, I'll give you the opportunity if you both want to roll initiative or you want to split. I feel like we're stronger together. Yeah, no. Okay. I rolled it twice and I was kinked, so... Oh, that's... Never mind. I rolled a three. Okay. Uh, two. <laughs> oh, man. He rolled a four. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, uh, shit. Guess who's going first? Guess who's going second and last? Okay, I'm gonna write that down. And then, just for shigs, we've got random things going on. Okay. Great. No doubt, no doubt. Okay. 
So, with his... <laughs> Before we go on, in relation to the field. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? let me, yeah, let me set that. Talk amongst yourselves, please. Sorry, just talking to myself. Um, so Izik is going to... Can I say something before he does anything? Go ahead. Izik! I understand you're furious right now. I get it. But we met good people in this town. We don't want people to die. We can work together and save fucking lives right now. Roll persuasion. Ah, shit. Uh... Okay. Okay. He looks at you and he goes, The only lives that will be shed here are you, yours. And he just, he's going to charge forward. Um, I'm sorry, he has a battle axe on a great sword. Retcon. Um, okay. He's going to move forward towards, uh, you sharp. I didn't want him I'm, to. I'm squishy. Yeah. Okay, and squishy. he is going to attack you twice with his battle axe. Okay. Does a... 18 hit? Yeah. Okay. Does a... 22 hit? Yeah. Okay. And so as he brings his, uh, this great axe up, he is going to fucking pieces. Okay. Brings it down. You take eight points of slashing damage in total. Could have been worse. And Rufio, you're up. Uh, no, Shard's up. Oh, Shard's up. I'm sorry. That's right. Shot got three. You got two. I actually rolled a natural one, but my initiative is plus one. Oh, good. Yeah. Rage. Yeah, when I got my okay. two, I rolled a two. Ones I can re-roll. So, I did the worst I could. Uh, 15. 15 you're within, hits? You're within five feet of me, too. I know. Oh, you're right. Yeah, see if you crit. I did crit. Not okay. 19. Got 19? That's an 18 on the other roll. Okay, so. All right, roll all your hit. damage, please. Uh, first one hits... That is a crit, which means I add an extra d6 to it. What are you using, the maul or the... The maul. Okay. Uh, 6, 12, 18, 2, 24, uh, plus 7, <laughs> uh, 31 points of damage. 31, okay. And then that's for the first hit. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> okay. 31 is the first hit? Yeah. Okay. And then 21 for the second hit. Okay, he was in triple digits. He's not anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mike. Okay, Rufio, you're up. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to uh, cast Hold Person on him. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the saving throw? It is a 14. 14. Wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and you see him tense up, and he relaxes. Mm, that's unfortunate. He got a 16. Yay. He has a negative one. And then I am going to... Uh, I can't use... I can't attack, right? Because I, I used a that spell was your on my action. first action. Mm -hmm. okay. You can check to see if you have bonus actions. Uh, I, I do have bonus actions. I'm going to cast uh, Hunter's Mark on okay. him. We'll use our new things. So this white's going to be Hunter's Mark. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, just question for clarification. Of course. If he casts a spell, like, or attempts to cast a spell like he did with Hold Person, mm -hmm. does that, <clears throat> since he has two attacks per turn, that one spell means he had, doesn't so have the other So attacking attack. is an action. Okay. And so when you have two attack, that's okay. one just, That's why I just wanted a clarification. No, that's, fair. that's a fair clarification. Yeah. Okay. Do you want anything else? Yeah. 
Sorry I put you on ice for a little bit. It's, oh, no, you're It's good. all in the head. I, I like the back and forth. Okay. Um, so Isaac is going to go again. And this big fight, he's just bleeding out now. And he goes, <sighs> you see him put the the great sword or the great axe in one hand. And you see him put his fingers up with the bandaged arm. And he snaps. Uh, okay, let's see if he hits. It's at disadvantage because you're close up. Um, that one's... Does a 15 hit? Yes. Okay. You take... And Rufio, as you see this, because you're up close, you start smelling fire and you start smelling burnt hair as Shart incinerates into flames for... Uh, 14 points of uh, fire damage. Jesus Christ. And then if you're wearing anything flammable, like flammable, like your loincloth, any kind of furs, those are being incinerated. So I'm naked. Gotcha. <laughs> um, naked fight part two. <laughs> and then he's going to... Because that's one attack he's going to... Oh, you can only do it with the battle axe. So it is your turn. <sighs> Fucking shit! That's a 22. Okay, so the first one's a 22. Mm-hmm. Uh, both hit. What was the uh, what was the score? Uh, twenty-two and a twenty-four. Okay. Go ahead, roll your damage. Actually, gonna kill him. <laughs> roll both of them at the same time. Killing your brother-in-law. I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, oh no. Eight, <laughs> ten, it's gonna be real awkward at family dinner. Fifteen. <sighs> twenty-two. Twenty-two for the plus first. fourteen. Uh, it's 36. So 36 altogether? 36 altogether for the two attacks. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was going to say, no, that was the first one. Okay, <laughs> he looks really fucked up. Rufio, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take my first swing with the great sword, and I get that ad- advantage, I believe. Sure. So that's not going to hit, uh, but that's a natural 18. Go ahead. Uh, and damage, my baby. second attack I'll just do now, natural 20. So I'm going to drop a smite on the 20. Okay. Uh, I'll do a level... One smite, which okay. is two d eight, I believe. Yep, it'll be two d eight, and then it's an extra d eight for each level you go up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me. <clears throat> I don't use my great sword often. Two d six plus four. I'm gonna let you roll it. We all know what's happening. But <laughs> I'm gonna let you roll it so you can feel how awesome it feels to roll all that. Uh. Well, forty two and forty six. Uh, that's yeah. Uh. Uh. Nineteen. Plus Plus eight is twenty-seven, mm-hmm. and then I get two D eight as well. Go for that. It. Uh, we'll go. That's a D ten. This makes me happy. So just so you know, I'm making a great time. Uh, mm-hmm. plus five. So so that would be what did I say? Twenty-eight plus five. No, what was it? Eleven. Then I rolled an eight, so nineteen plus, plus five, Hunter's twenty-four. Mark? Oh, and Hunter's Mark. Put your Hunter's Mark damage in, just so we have fun. Oh, 26. And then that's two attacks, so it's 2d6, but I get a third one because I critted. (laughs) So we're at 26. Battle Master's great, huh? 26, uh, 29, 33, 35. Look at you. You got shark levels here. 35. 35. Okay, so you literally, you see him snap his finger, and in a split second, as you see shark go up, and you see him attack back with his axe, you, you grab both hands with the long sword and you slice off that fucking right arm and on the upswing, you sl- to ple- come, you freeze at him and you just slice him right in half where he just folds out. And Isaac is dead. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to lay into Shart. I'm going to pump uh, 10 lay on hands into him. Thank oh, you. I will say where Lady Watcher's house is is where Pietro's is. Uh, I thought it was on the way to the church. No, it's on the other side of the town. So you're at the Blue Water Inn. Blue Water Inn is further east, and then Church is west. Oh, fuck. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, so 10 lay on hands there, and... You go to the church. Go get Absidy. Right. And I'll go to... I'll go this way. I'll go to Pietro, but also Lady Watcher. Okay, so you split off, and that's when we go back to... If you refresh your page, the API error stops popping up. Okay. So just know what damage you're at, so that way you can... If it goes away, because mine did. 
Okay. So we go back to to Absidy. And uh, Strahd's smiling, and as he... You see his eyes kind of glaze over briefly, like <coughs> they milk over. If, if you want an attack of opportunity, you can totally try to. Yeah. He seems distracted, like he's seeing somewhere else. Okay, does that count as sneak attack? I'll give it to you. <coughs> Uh, do, 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 23. Oh, jeepers, that hits. <laughs> all right, so I got my rape here. That's all I have. Okay. So D8 plus 4. Uh, 1, 3, 2, 6. 12. 12? Okay. With attack? So yeah. as you see and his eyes kind of like dart back and forth very slowly, you're like, this is my fucking chance. And you... Little that you know about vampires, you go straight for, like, the chest area, and you see your rapier go the other end. And it's at that moment he blinks, and his eyes come back, and he looks down at you, and he grabs one hand of the rapier, and he grabs the other one, and he goes, ow. And he slowly starts pulling it out as you're like, okay. Uh, oh, no. Hmm. I know. And uh, you see him, and he goes, and he looks at his horse. And he goes, Warn, uh, go bore worm that we're going to have company soon. And you see the horse kind of, <laughs> and it starts going into the direction towards the town. And, um, yeah, you have Shroud in front of you. So we'll go back to Irina. She's going to try to move forward. So we'll see if she breaks the <coughs> strength save. So she does not. Uh, and Absidy, you're up. Uh, okay. I use cause my bonus bonus action mm -hmm. or cunning. I don't know. I push him away. I want to shut okay. him. Uh, look at your traits. See what it is for cunning action. If it's bonus action or action. <coughs> uh, well, I have, I have cunning action. Mm -hmm. And bonus action. Okay, so you're going to use cunning action as your action? Or, okay, cunning action, I can only do dash, disengage, or hide, so it's my bonus action. Okay. So, yeah, I use my bonus action to push him away. Okay, uh, we'll do strength checks. <coughs> 15. You manage to push him, and he steps back. I think. All right. Got some breathing room. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, you could smell his cologne, and he smells pretty good. Jakar Noir. Jakar Noir. Yeah, he's about as far away as your boner is right now. I wear that, too. I use my action to try to, like, pick her up okay. and run toward the door. <clears throat> Strength check. You need to not tell me this. 14. How heavy is she? So you... Go lift by the ankles, and she, the way that she's standing is rigid enough where she's kind of upright, and you you have her by the ankles. You're she's off ground, so try to run. Okay, um, how does my movement work? Uh, I would say it's halved. Halved. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I use my movement and my dash, I get twenty five feet still. Mm -hmm. That's pretty far. One, two, three. Do you three. want to go? The, I can't. I'm not there. Never mind. I mean, you, you can, but I'm, I am i can't run away. There's nothing. Well, you're running into a pit of 13 werewolves. Yeah, but, 13 at, but at least it's away. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So okay, I'm right on the, the edge. Side. Okay. Anything else? I don't have any more for my round. All right, Strahd's turn. Um... Okay. Strahd's just gonna move up. He's like, more of this cat and mouse game. <clears throat> what Ooh. are you doing? As you're you're struggling to try to get up the stairs, and it's it's kind of like as you dash, he like moves simultaneously with you, and it doesn't even look like he's walking. It's like he lifted up and he just kind of swayed forward. I'm getting her away from you. 
I will get her. You know that, right? Not while I'm a here. I'm a here. While I'm around. <laughs> and you see the smile back to his face. We'll go to Rufio. So, Rufio, you are seeing everything just fucking crumbling in masses, and you hear, you see Blinsky's just slowly start. <clears throat> You see all the different places that you went to, and uh, you see on fire Pietro's outside as you see different, like, beasts and skeletons. Uh, I'm going to kick the door in and see if he's in there. I would assume that he would live where he works. This isn't a very, like, well-off town. Sure. Um, go ahead and roll perception for me. <sighs> the weakness for my character. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a six. Yeah. Okay. Ken, you don't really see anything. Uh, I look around for the claymore and my armor. Is it? Roll perception again. Oh, please be better. <laughs> Nine. Um, you don't really see anything as you're looking around frantically. Mm. As smoke is starting to fill your lungs. I'll, I'll call out for Pietro just to see if and nothing... Soon nothing. Is there anything around for me to grab? Anything that I can use see, a shield or anything? You see some like old kind of like battered shields that you might be able to, to grab onto? Yeah. I'll, but they're all a little too hot. Uh, then I will haul ass out of there. Okay, and as you haul ass out of there, in front of you are three werewolves. So we'll get that going. Great. So we're just going to use for sake of argument because this can double as a door. Ingenuity. That's what Dyson is. Yay. <clears throat> All right, roll initiative. Cool. You, sh you sure he didn't find anything in there? <laughs> uh, 19. 19? Yeah. <laughs> now you roll good. Good job, yeah. Bob. <laughs> All right, so Actually, we have... Actually, that was perception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I turn around and see if... <laughs> it's just shining there like it's all glistening. <laughs> Left, middle, right. <clears throat> okay, let me... I have to pull up the sample. Luckily, I have it. What are you pulling up? Oh, werewolf stat block. Mm. Well, they all have one health. <laughs> and no attack. They actually, they're it's just puppies. Weird. They turn out to be puppies. Yeah? I'm going to carry uh, them all and save them. Basically, when he hits them, he can jump off of one into into the other, kind of like when Captain America throws his shield. Why would he hit a puppy? <laughs> they still could be rabid. Barrel. <laughs> They're just nice puppies. Bear. Okay. All right. You are up first. <clears throat> Who are we Rip. moving first? Uh, great. I'm going to use my full movement to mm -hmm. get as close to this guy as humanly possible. I'm going to misty step. Ooh. Uh, and run the fuck away. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, how far away can you get with that? Uh, so my movement's 30 feet. Okay. And then uh, Misty Step is 30 feet of unoccupied space that I can see. Okay, so you move about 60 I feet? I move 60 feet, Okay, yeah. so we'll move 60 feet for me. Okay. Let's see if they catch up. Let's. Dis disengage, run. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay, so we have... Oh, can I also use my action to get another... Use my action to further my... I think so. That's a double dash, basically? Go for it. Yeah, I'm going to do All that, right, too. You double dash the fuck out of there. Yeah. Okay. Would, would, Very um, good call. Wasn't your action Misty Step? No, Misty Step's a bonus action. Oh, dope. You're thinking that, huh? You're planning, scheming. I've okay. been over here staring at a screen for a while. Like, <laughs> okay. I knew I something was going to happen. I'm, okay. I'm also heading towards Lady Fiona's house. I'm assuming that that is safe. Okay. So as you go up to Lady Watcher's house, you see the Iron Rite gates, and you see everything in carnage. And perfectly sitting on her landscape is the Watcher house, and it is perfectly intact. Uh, can I get through the gate? Sure. Yeah, I want to get through the gate. Okay, you get through the gate. What were you doing? Um, bang on the door. Okay. Okay. Um, 
and it's at this point you hear Ernst, go away. We don't have anything. Uh, it's it's Rufio. Let me in. Rufio. Open. Ernest kind of like cracks the door, and he looks at you and he goes, "What, what are you doing here? Get get out of here!" I uh, hide me. Hide you? Why? Yeah. You're a big warrior. Fight this. I'm, I'm working for you right now. If I die, there's no way she gets to be head burgermaster. Shit. And he opens the door, and you go inside. What are we doing? I'm trying to find Lady Fiona. Okay. <clears throat> This is why I said I prepared for both. Let me just pull that. So you you are going around and you're you're first thing I want to do. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming my armor is cooled off to the point where I can put it on. It takes about ten minutes to put on. It's fine. I'm inside. I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna put my armor on. Okay. You take the time and Ernst is kind of looking like you don't. You went into battle without your armor on. Uh, it was hot, so. Okay, so <laughs> back on, and he goes. That's fair, I guess. I let me let me fetch Lady Fiona, and he disappears for a little bit. And shortly, like by the time you get your armor on, at the top of the stairs and very regal gown is Lady Fiona. You look lovely. Is there an occasion? Flattery won't get you anywhere. I mean, hey, I'm in your house, so. <laughs> Is there something you're preparing for this evening, or...? I simply looked out my window and saw Carnage. So you dressed up for Carnage? I dressed up for you. Oh. Doesn't that make you feel good? So good. Thank you so much. Uh, you're not my type, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I don't like ladies that sleep next to dead guys. That was very dumb. I'm right. a dumb kid. What roll do you want me to do? <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, fucking shit. Uh, that's a modded 20. Okay. I'm going to roll this dice forever. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the polymer? It's the brand new one, yeah. Nice. Which one? The one Spider-Man. I bought. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Um, You'll have to forgive me. I'm using a new thing. Um, It's called fast characters. You can build any character you'd like. You give them a class. You give them everything. Uh, there's their initiative modifier. I was just looking for that because I don't know how this works. We're not indoors, but fastcharacter.com. Fast character. You were first. Uh, who am I engaged with? What's happening? Fiona at the top of the stairs. I'm fighting Fiona? She's fighting you. I don't... She's fighting you. Oh, okay. You can, I mean, you can hold an action if you'd like. I, I mean, God, I don't. Did he get his armor on? Uh, yeah, yes. my armor's on. Um, shit. Why are we... I don't want to fight you. No? No. You're armored. Uh, t- for out there, I wanted to know if this was... You had any idea what was happening. You you know Strahd better I, than I do. I do not have any clue what is happening. I literally looked out my window and everything was on fire. But this isn't on fire. Everything but here is on fire. There has to be a reason for that. I worship him. He has protected me and shown his favor for me. You don't think that looks suspicious at all? I don't care if it looks suspicious. I'm going to live. Mm, probably not. And I will cast... <laughs> I don't uh, know what to fight. Probably not one, z- one liner. <laughs> uh, I mean, she wants to fight, so we're going to fight. Go for it. What uh, are you going to cast? I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on her. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I'm going to go up the stairs and, and attack her with the greatsword. Um, go for it. <laughs> uh, let me make the, uh, what is it, a wisdom save? Uh, no, Hunter's Mark happens. Oh, okay. What. Then you're good. Uh, go ahead. Hunter's yeah. Mark. What you I did hold for another. Okay, I'm just making sure that my, my spell slots are also in order as well. That's kinked. Because I, I, no matter what, when I'm running. Uh, that's a natural 18 for my first attack. Okay, that hits. <laughs> and a natural one for my second attack. Okay, so you roll your damage for your yeah. your eighteen. Might as well use that. Say three d six because a hunter's mark, and then it's plus four, I think. Is it, I thought it was two d six. Or did you do two d six plus level? four? No, I just use only. I'm at a second level spell slot. I'm gonna reroll that one. That was way better. Eight, 14, 18 points of damage. 
18 points of damage. Very, a very palpable hit. Okay. All right, as you slice in, she uh, it hits her chest, and you see this regal white gown that she's wearing start blood, and she goes, hails deeply. Okay. So, thought you didn't want to fight. I didn't, but you started it. Sure, I did. Uh, and really good you at see her, play. and she kind of moves her hands in this archaic way. And uh, around her, you see this black kind of mist, and it slowly attaches to her, and it starts forming into this, looks like a solid mass, and it looks like she put on battle armor. That was really cool. Can you teach me how to do that? No. (laughs) (laughs) Let me just see really quick what her AC... Okay, that's plus that much. Cool. (laughs) So she's at... Cool, cool, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Cool, cool, cool. And then, let's see, is that? I wouldn't say that that's that. Okay. You're up. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Uh, shit. I thought I was going to have to do like. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ernst, I love you. Uh, I'm going to attack again. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that is a modded 20. Okay. Uh, let me double check and make sure. Yeah, modded 20. And that is a modded 24. Okay, go ahead. They both, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 20, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. You said her armor class increases by that oh, much. Definitely, and I was like, definitely oh, definitely increased. That's not super. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 for the first attack. Okay, 16. And we roll that one. Uh, 6... 11, 15 for the next one. 15. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 16 and 15. Whoops. Okay. Jesus. Okay. So she, um, she looks at you and she is going to cast. Ooh. Okay. How are we doing guys? Good. I'm sweating bullets a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> a little bit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really doing anything. Don't worry. I mean, my hands are sweating. You're gonna, you're gonna wish that we didn't get to you. Yeah, I had a feeling. But we are. Um, come on. What is it? Uh, I'm trying to look. It's a, uh, a spell, and I wanted to see if they had it here, so I didn't have to look it up on the book. Mm. Yep, they got it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, uh, go ahead, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. As you see her kind of arcaying her hands and moving them in. Uh, it's a modded 24. Modded 24, okay. And you start seeing your vision start to blurry and darken as you shake it off. And she looks at you, and she goes, okay. You can see her point her hand, and it looks like it goes past your hand, your head, as she shoots. Ernst. That'll hit. And you see this flame just kind of extend from her finger, and it just pierces Ernst right through the chest. And she goes, I'm sorry. And he falls dead. And as you look behind you, you're like, what the actual fuck? You start seeing what you would examine as his essence as she... And you see it go into her. Is he inside you now? That's gross. And as you say that, the mark that you made with your rapier or your long greatsword, you see slowly start to heal up. Mm, Got it. You're a revenant now. Heard that. Okay. Not a revenant. She's definitely alive. Mm, You're not good. Okay. Good. (laughs) Okay. Uh, (laughs) Short. Going through the city, seeing everything crumbling. We're going straight to the uh, the church. <laughs> okay. Get, yeah. So you're about 15 minutes in your run. You're sprinting. Your lungs are starting to burn, and you're getting that stitch in your side. I don't think you've ever run this fast. And as you start to slow up, you just see amongst all the carnage, you just see a big hulking figure waiting for you. And as you come closer and closer, you see these horns that come down 
and you see these red scales all along this big muscle-bound body as he holds this great axe. And he goes to you and he goes, Hmm, you green one, me red one. And as you look at him and you have that smirk on your face, you see his muscles get a little bit bigger. Roll initiative. Oh, fuck. 18. Okay. What are your what are your hit points at? Twenty-eight. Oh no, that's so bad. <clears throat> out of forty-two, it could have been, you could have given me more like that. <laughs> I didn't think you were that low. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, okay. no, it's because the the flame damage I don't get half you don't for get raging. Half, yeah. What would you like to do? You're up. Uh, I have to re-rage. So re-rage. Re-rage. I'm a buddy, his brand. Huh? I said I'm a buddy, your brand, bro, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Alright, what the fuck are you? That is a natural 19 on the first one. Good. That is a critical. And that is a 18. 18, okay. Do both hit. Both hit. Okay. So, first one is... This is just the first attack. Good. Go for it. <clears throat> 6, 12, 17, 21, 24... 32 plus 7 is 39 on the first hit. Cool. So not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's... Most of that's halved, isn't it? Because it's bludgeoning damage. Hmm? Is most of that halved because what, it's what would, bludgeoning? Because it's bludgeoning damage? Why would that be matter? Isn't he a barbarian? Isn't he fighting another? What's your next attack? My, no, that was both. What's the next? Oh, that's both of them. 39. No, 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 that was no, the that first, was the first oh, one. Fuck. Yeah. That's why never I was mind. saying, what's the first? Ne- yeah. Never mind. You got to give me the uh, the total damage. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> that was three. Oh, this one was not as good. Three. Uh, oh four, man, I didn't get forty. Plus <laughs> seven. Eleven on the second one. Okay, so thirty-nine and eleven. Yeah, so fifty points of damage. Fifty. Okay. Okay. So you, <laughs> sorry, I'm just I I was so excited for this character. Um, Does he have any resistance or any uh, deficiencies with fire damage? I'm uh, just asking. Oh, do you have it was well, fire damage? Yeah, some of it was fire damage. How much was fire damage? Uh, eight, uh, nine fire damage. And how much was the total? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Okay. Cool. So you see him, and he kind of goes, and he, you see, like it hit, and it's fucking solid. Like it's like you're hitting a fucking stone, but the stone's not breaking. He just goes, now red turn. And okay, he is going to first. No, he's gonna save that. Okay, he's going to... It wasn't close enough? Oh, no, I was just making sure it was still running. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. He is going to try to butter your bread. Um, Bring it, honky. Okay, let's say that to him. (laughs) What? He's red. Okay. um, Does a 23 hit? Yeah. Okay, cool. Here's the other one. (laughs) Uh, Does a 16 hit? Yeah. Okay, that is... Shit, sorry. It's been a while since I played a Barbarian, so it's... So you take 28 points of slashing damage as he just comes down and brings back up. So half to 14. Yep. It's gonna be a fun fight. Uh, It's gonna be a quick fight. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Okay. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Hey. Green guy turn. Uh, it's a 19. Sure. And an 11. Okay. Both uh, 11. Let me see. 11 has to miss. Is that, was that a that crit we'll 19 see. or just a... No. Mom. Not a natural 19. Uh, 11 misses. That's five, 
Nine. Sixteen. Four of its fire. Sixteen. Force fire. Okay. So, once again, you bash into this thing, and you see at this point, like, it looks like the flames just kind of, like, it's not even, like, hitting him. It's just kind of, like, And he goes, You like fire. Me like fire. Go ahead and make a strength saving check. He's going to grapple you. Strength save? Uh, sure. Strength save. 18. 18? What's your plus to your strength save? 8. Okay. Oh, God. You rolled so bad. And you see him, and he grabs you by the shoulders, and he goes, You like fire. Me fire. (laughs) And he opens his mouth. Fuck, I'm dead. Let's see what we got. Go ahead and make a deck save for me. Oh. At disadvantage because you're uh, prone. Or you're grappled. Dex. That's not great. What'd you get? A three. Three. Okay. Rolled a 16 the second time. And then... Um... Okay. As he inhales, he unleashes uh, this just cone of fucking fire that completely envelops you and goes past you. You take 14 points of fire damage. I am down. That's halved? Well, fire's not halved. Oh, that's right. So my relentless endurance, I'm brought back to one. Okay. You're brought back up to one. With that, back to Absidy. And uh, once again, he starts... You see his eyes kind of glaze over again, and he smirks, and he goes, Good. I didn't want him to be here for this. Who? The green one. What are you doing to Shart? Nothing. I'm not doing anything to Shart. I'm here. You know what I meant. And he slowly just moves back a little bit. You have an attack of opportunity against him if you want to let go of Irina. Uh, Do I have to do a... Would I have to do a strength to pick her back up? You would have to do it on your action, yeah, on your next turn. But if I don't do the attack of opportunity, I don't need to? Yeah, you wouldn't drop him. You would, because it's kind of like the only reason why you're holding her is because you have the both hands. So if you had the reaction, you'd have to let go of her. And then, yeah, on your next turn, you would be able to. No, but, but if I don't drop her, I don't have to do a strength check again. No. Okay. You can just keep her. Then I'm just going to let it go. And he goes, hmm, okay. And he whistles, and he goes, um, Shazor, get the beast. It's hungry. And so you you see, like, amongst all of these different undead, and you see this one just go, has this kind of, like, gauntlet kind of on it, and it goes, mm, kind of goes off. Uh, as that happens, we're going to have more zombies come in. Okay. And oh, do I, how, do I know how many creatures are inside the house or the inside 13. the 13 well you saw all of them you don't know like a yeah. number of them but you hear just Many. chaos and for a while you heard screaming and now you don't hear screaming anymore uh just litter around i feel like this is fair oh my god we just do one how about that? Mm-hmm. and he goes oh boys don't kill him it likes things fresh. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll for them. I'm just going to do one big roll. Okay. Okay, they got that. Um, <coughs> okay. So it is Irina's turn. She's going to try to jump out. Okay. If you... Do, 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 do. She does start to wiggle off. I'm trying to remember what the DC was. So... She's got maybe half a distance from you, about there. Oh, so she broke? So she broke, yeah. Okay. And so now you're you're up. Okay. Um, so the door is open. Yes. Right? And those are all zombies? They're, well, these are all zombies out here, and then wolves are in the church. Okay. Holy water. Is that only for vampires, or does that work on... You can attempt to roll a religion check to see if you know. Uh, eight. You're, you're really not sure. Uh, 
I guess I try to grab her again. Because this is, I know this is all brush, but mm-hmm. then past that, is it just more brush? It's more like just road and brush and, yeah, forest. They're kind of secluded, the, and then you have more city streets as you go in further. Okay. So, yeah, it's more brush. Um, You're going to grab her again? Yeah. Okay, strength check. 13. 13. Um, that should do it. Yeah, you pick her. You're able to pick her back up again, and she's rigid enough again. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to run. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five. So during those, because you pass in front of two. But I went around. You went around. So they're yeah. still in the range, though. But I specifically went around where I wouldn't be in their range. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And then as you're you're in that range, there are just more kind of coming. It's kind of like they're swarming outside of the the mm-hmm. church. So they're you're getting a little a little blocked in. Um, they're still coming from like the side. They're coming from like sides, and they're coming out of the fucking woodwork. There's a whole fucking cemetery in the back. Uh, can it, do I have? I, I plead to Irina to snap out of it. We'll see if she has um, the juice. She, you see her eyes glaze back. She looks at you and she goes. Before anything comes out, she just she faints. So now she's limp. she's limp, but she's not moving. And he goes, ah, it looks like she got tired out. Okay, um, let's see here. So your action was to move and then dash. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll see. He's back up. He is going to outstretch his hand. I need you to make a wisdom save for me. And he goes, wait. Nat 20. And you see, you feel this compulsion to listen to him, and then you just, you shake that off. And, okay, he's going to move up with you. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And he is back on top of you, and it's like he's towering over you, and he looks behind you and goes, oh, she's beautiful when she sleeps, isn't she? That's creepy, but yes. (laughs) There's that humor again. And as you're talking, you slowly hear that um, that zombie, like you hear like a from the the gauntlet, and you slowly hear like a... "Mm." It's getting hungry. You get eaten by it. And he goes, why don't we wait together? And he puts his hand on your shoulder, and we're going to see, we're going to do strength checks. Okay. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. And as you try to, like, grow away, he's balled up. And he goes, it's getting closer. And as it gets closer, you hear, you see the zombie like, mm, uh, and it's just, it's glowing this red arcane energy. And you hear just these heavy footprints. And you start to see it crest from all the fire. And it's this big shadow. It looks like this giant beast, this four-legged beast. And you see this chain of arcanic, like like a collar almost, just encrypted with runes. As you see this giant wolf, and it looks gaunt, but you see all this lean muscle as it moves slower and slower to you as you're trying to struggle. And he goes, no, wait, 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 it's hungry. And I think you might be a light snack. And it's getting closer to you as it lurches. It's not lurching, it's stalking. You're lucky you got that. It looks at you, and it's snout, hot breath coming out, these pained blue eyes looking at you. And it hails for another roar, and it goes... And it starts sniffing you. 
and it puts its head to your head. And it goes... And he goes, that's interesting. I didn't know it could do that. Is this the dog from before? What dog? The the one the Burgermaster's dog. No, this is not the Burgermaster's dog. It is a massive fucking wolf. Oh, okay. And it's got its head to yours. And it's like... Can I roll perception? Like, I just... I To get what... You can roll nature. Th- nature. What is my nature? 12. Okay. You're, you don't speak wolf, man. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Why isn't Shard here? It's like... <laughs> and it just... Oh! We'll go back to Shard. So... Back at one hit point, you're like, all right, come on. And it's your turn. <clears throat> Am I still grappled? You are still grappled. Fuck. You could break the grapple. Yeah, I have to try to. <laughs> uh, strength check? Strength check. Uh, 22. Or, yeah, 22. Yeah, you break it. <laughs> Yeah. Just because of the noise that you made, did I hear that? No. Okay. I know I'm weak. <clears throat> I'm trying to. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. You're right. What I can do. Sure. I'll give you time. Yeah, no rush. I'm going to drink a nice ice cold Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Pepsi Cola, the taste of murderers. Maximum taste. For maximum murders. <laughs> How we doing, Pat? Just, just planning. Okay. Doing what I can. <clears throat> sure. Since I don't have a battle map reference in front of me, mm-hmm. <clears throat> is there what's around us? Are it's we just, just in the middle of nowhere? Basically. There's all there's just buildings everywhere, and they're all basically they're almost to ash at this point. And right in the middle of this big fucking dumb dragonborn. Uh. <clears throat> now, to get to the church, do I have to get past him straight? You're within range of him, and he would have an attack of opportunity on you. You'd have to beat the attack. <laughs> or disengage. Well, would disengage work? That would be your action, though. And okay. you used your action to break the grapple. Yeah, I think oh. <clears throat> We're not all like you. <laughs> I forgot that that was an action that we came. I look to my right. Yep. And I just feign a look of fear in my eyes. Feign a look of fear, okay. Roll a deception what? check. What's that? Mm. Damn it. What'd you get? I got a 10. You got a 10? Okay, let's see... See how dumb this guy is. That's the only reason why I'm trying this. You got 10? Yeah. Okay. You look to the right and he goes, no, no, red here. And he moves your head over. (laughs) Red make you go sleep now. And he's going to headbutt you. (laughs) Do I have a dodge? Um, hold on. <laughs> he, it's a natural 15. Um, it's okay. And he just reels back and he just goes, <laughs> and your his fucking skull is so hard from the horns. He has this full kind of middle and you hear <laughs> as your skull just kind of split and... He does 1d4 of damage, plus, like, his strength. Doesn't matter. Strength. I'm down. Okay, you're down. It, okay. It doesn't matter if it's halved. As yeah, you go down, that one. in the very faint distance, you hear Vin howl for you. <laughs> Rufio! Okay. Back up. Yeah. All right, you are up first. Uh, I'm going to use my channel of divinity. And cast Vow of Enmity on her. Okay, what does that do? Uh, it makes me attack her with advantage. Okay. 
Um, and then I will use. Let me switch back. The great sword uh, to tie it, try and take chunks out of her. I guess. Okay. I don't really oh, know. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen does not hit. Okay. That was my first roll. Uh, that's a nineteen okay. and a nine. Okay, nineteen heads. Okay. Uh, so. Twenty. Twenty twenty points of damage? Yeah. Okay. You slice into her and she's she's ready to fucking party. Um Let's fucking party then. Let's dance, bitch. Um Let's No no no. You think I'd have all this ready. Okay. We're gonna do this spell. So she starts muttering under her breath, and she is going to cast 5e. Go ahead and have to make a, see if she hits. All right. I just want you guys to know I'm like literally on the verge of tears right now over a character that I fucking made up. (laughs) Welcome to D&D. You are emotionally compromised. And I'm not talking about my character. I know you're not. Um, go ahead, and I need you to make a uh, con save. <coughs> Four. Okay. As you see her, her hands move. It kind of likes uh, double vision. And she puts her hand out as... You start getting sick, like you've been poisoned. Cool. <clears throat> and you take nine points of poison damage. As you start feeling this bile start to fill your mouth, as you your face starts turning green and your eyes go blurry, uh, it is your turn. Uh, I will use my bonus action to cast Shield of Faith. Okay. Uh, and I will attack two times. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, that's an 18 for... 18 hits. Uh, yeah, that one's a 23. Okay, so, go ahead. Well, 17. I get to attack with advantage. Uh, the second one's miss. I had a 17 and a 7. Or a natural 1, but it... Okay, so give me your damage for your attack. Uh, reroll that one. Uh, 11, 13... Plus four is 17, and I'm going to dump a smite. Dump a smite? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> you roll that two. Of course, it's a one. Uh, five on top of that. So how much? Uh, Altogether? 17. 17 plus five, 22. 22. Good hit. Okay. Out of spells. Okay. Let's see what she's got in the old howdy do. Also, you do have the poison condition if you want to put it onto your D and D behind. Mm-hmm. Um. <coughs> okay, she is going to arcane again. Uh, I need you to make. Let me pull this up. Ooh, that's nice. I don't have to use anything for this. Oh, that's radiant damage, too. I don't know if that matters. No. Nope. Okay. Thank you, though, for the clarification. I yeah, do appreciate the, it. The smite is divine, so. Yeah, of course. Um, okay. It's gonna make a, she's going to make an attack on you as she waves another hand. Okay. okay. Nice. He's a it 20. doesn't hit. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't hit. She got a 19. Okay. And you see this, like, ice start to form on your her hand, and you just kind of bat it away. <coughs> nope. <laughs> no. All right, you're back up. Uh, I'll attack again. Sure. Ugh. Ugh. That was a 14. Okay. That's a natural 18 and a 21. Modded 21. Okay. Roll your damage. Uh... 
It's 14. 14. Okay. Um, 14 altogether. <coughs> okay, and we'll go back to Absidy. And he looks at the beast, howl, and he goes, oh, it cries out. Hmm. I guess it's not hungry. And then you see his eyes glaze over again. Then he looks back at you and they, they sheen back and he goes, ooh, shards down. Shards down? Yes. <sighs> All right. Um, Would you like a hint? Yeah. To make things interesting, because I like your moxie, kid. I like the cut of your jib. And he says something in Vistani, and you hear all the ravenous, like, clawing apart. Stop. And all the wolves slowly start coming out. And the zombies that are reaching after you, they stop. And he goes, I can't go in the church. You have the bones of St. Andrew in there. I will call off my gods, my, my brethren, so you can put her inside. So you can go to your friend. What's the trick? And he reaches his hand out and he puts it to Vin and Vin's like, hmm. he won't be here waiting for you. You can see if you put two and two together. Well, I mean, you just said the name. I said it because I'm the DM. I can okay. So perception or I would say intelligence check just straight intelligence. Six. It'd be a really cool weapon to have and a really cool ally. You could ride that thing, but Irene is in danger. I promise. Did, is it... Would I be able... He's clearly, like, affectionate toward me. Mm-hmm. Can I try throwing Irina up on the... Up on I mean, you could beast? try. Strahd's right next to you, and you'd have to make another strength check. And it's pretty high up. You would have to throw him very high, her very high. Yeah. Because he's not, like, despite being, like, his neck down, she's too floppy and not conscious to grab onto anything. And he goes, time is ticking. Fuck. Fine. And I and, take her to the... And he grabs this wolf by the scruff and he brings it down. And he watches you as you slowly drag. All of these zombies just stop. Eyes just peeled as you drag Irina in and you close the door and you lock it. And you look back at him and he goes, run. He's dying. I will kill you. Hmm. I hope you do. I'm really pulling through for you. So you have to, you would run. I'm running this way. Mm -hmm. As I run. I pick up the dagger and the javelin that I had. Okay. And I book it. Okay. But I also flick him off as I'm running away. You hear, and you hear a chuckle. And then you hear him go, all right, bring him back now. And you hear, and as you look back, you kind of see like this red arcane portal open. And you can hear thunderstorms and rain slattering on uh, slamming into stone walls as um, you slowly see this wolf put back into whatever cage it was in <laughs> okay Rufio back up uh yeah what are we doing so how's she looking she looks alright mm, fuck that sucks <laughs> um I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you sugar bear uh <clears throat> I'm going to uh, That's... under my breath, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pray to whore and be like, I hope to God I can get through this, and like just kind of dirt wherever you are. I hope you're safe. Okay. Uh, and I'll attack two times again. Go for it. Uh, that's not okay. That's a natural eighteen. Mm -hmm. That's uh okay. That's a modded twenty four. Modded twenty four. Yeah. Okay. So Go ahead. Roll your damage. Both hit. Eight plus five is thirteen. Uh, let me roll both these ones. Uh, plus sixteen. 
30, and then I have another plus four. So that's 38. 38, jeez. Doing short numbers, I like it. All right, let me just, I gotta use the calculator now. I don't know, what, my math is no good. I want you to remember that you did this to yourself. She, she looks very fucked up as you just and she goes, I will pray Strahd with my last dying breath. And we'll see what she does. Um, nope, I gotta go back to her, sorry. Um, cool. She is going to very desperate effort. She's going to pull out a dagger and try to stab you between where your armor lies. Uh, yeah, she doesn't make it, and it's just pathetic at this point. I'm, I'm gonna let her stab me. Okay. Um, you take. I don't know where my D4 went. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. You take three points of piercing damage as she digs. <laughs> And she's on one knee. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try and finish this. Uh, that's a modded 23 for my first one, and that's a natural 19 for the second one. Okay. Uh, should I even roll damage? No. How do you want to, like, are you going to use your sword? Or are you going to use your fist? I'm going to use my sword, and I'm going to take her head off, but I want to get real close. She's stabbing me still. She's, she's like, her... Hand is on your shoulder, like she's on one knee, so you would get down first. I'm going to pull her in as close. Well, I'm going to put my sword through her, okay. and I'm going to get real close to her. I'm going to tell her, with that last breath, you let Strahd know I'm coming for him. And then... And you just bisect her. Falls flat. Bitch. Where are you going? Um, out of the house, and to see if I can... Do I see anything? Is there anything going on? Is there... Go outside, you just see more carnage. Um, <clears throat> is there uh, bystanders? Is there what's what's in front of me? Like what's just more chaos, more uh, werewolves, more skeletons? Uh, I'm gonna run to, I guess the the church. That's where I I need to to go. Okay, so you start charging, and Shart. I'll do uh, lay on hands as well. I'll lay on hands. Okay. Yeah. Um. So Shart, as you are in this. I didn't make you do dead saving throws. I'm very nice. Was, nice guy. Yeah. Um, I noted that. That's okay. why I wasn't rolling him. You are back in the forest, but it's warped, and it looks like everything's on fire and flame, and you don't see Vin anywhere, or you don't see Paul anywhere. You just remember, you keep hearing his cry out over and over. And slowly you start hearing a muffled thing like... And you're just like, what the fuck is that? Fuck, I didn't I th think you're dead. And you get up, and right in front of you, with his hands on your chest, is dirt. And he goes, what the fuck? What the fuck? What did this to you? Where have you been? I've been fighting fucking... I've been looking for all of you. I went to go fight off the things of the stronghold, and then I turned around and you are all fucking gone. You were gone. And you see, like, just tears coming down his face. Like, I thought you were, you were fucking... You were dead. You were dead. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. We got to get to the church. We got to get to the church. Absidy's there. My brother is there. Okay. okay. We get to the church. Okay. So as you, as you move over... And Absidy, as you're running up, you see just this big hulking figure. And he stops. And he goes, eh, little one. And you hear, he looks behind you. And as you're booing, going up, you see, you see the fucker that took you out. And Rufio, as you're coming up, you see Shart and Dirt next to each other bisecting at this crossroad. And in the middle, you see this hulking fucking dragonborn and he looks like he's excited now we're all in the same you're all area in the same now. area so we'll just for the sake of clarity we'll just clear and i'll flip what okay. is my health at after oh you have been healed six points <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's, a lot. that's helpful well we have absidy at least with potions i think no you know how you i have nothing 
No, I just immediately ran. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what we will do, we're going to have... <coughs> um, let's do... Also, while he's doing this, uh, and since we kind of have a uh, battle camera now that hopefully you're going to be able to see the map, we got all new awesome figures that uh, Pat's cousin Carlos, right? Mm -hmm. Carlos made for us. He 3D printed and painted, and they're dope. Doper than yes, like, thank you so much, Carlos. Doper These than hell, yeah, Carlos. You are the man, even though I haven't met you. I love you. Um, <laughs> love they're you. super cool, and like I honestly, I don't think I, we could thank the guy enough. It's awesome. So. Yeah. No, and if you if you guys follow us on Instagram, well, I don't know why I'm doing Rufio voice. Um, <laughs> you're in character. It's what um, I tried to stop. <laughs> If you guys follow us on Instagram, you've seen fan art, and uh, that's the he did our fan art because he's our fan. And um, we know you're watching this. Thank you, dude. <laughs> and uh, he painted all the figures in the in the same vein as the fan art, which is really cool, and it's it's just great. And I love you, you know that. But yeah, just appreciate you, and uh, it adds another layer to to what we're doing. So thank you. Okay, roll initiative, bitches. God. Seven. Twelve. Seven. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, <coughs> do you want me to roll Twelve, seven, sixteen. No, I got him. Okay. I'm going to roll that dirt, and then that's... Warm. Okay. So we have, I'm sorry, sixteen, twelve, seven. Mm -hmm. No spells. This is going to suck. Do you have any lay on hands left? Three. Dibs? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, going straight. I'm going attack. This thing needs to go down. Three points is going to make no bit of difference. Shit. Is he still, or I guess we're not doing it yet. Is he still wounded from the fight with Shark? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Barely. Well, he did, you guys he rolled all very well. What? Shark, you're up. Well, <laughs> don't really have much of an option. Going to rage again. Okay. Uh, I'm behind him, so does that mean I uh, attack at advantage? He's not engaged with anything. Mm -mm. Figured I'd try. Hey, um, go for it. Before I start, I'd I'm be just gonna, if you didn't. I'm gonna shout out, Dirt, thank you again, but fire doesn't do shit. Oh, good, because that's 90% of my moves. Just letting you know. Appreciate where the, it. Where the fuck did you come from? Where the fuck were you? Where were you? I missed you. I love you. We'll get into this later. Oh, God. I rolled a 15 and okay. a natural 19. Give me that sweet, sweet damage, baby. Okay, so... Because the, uh, he is not big yet. Uh, <gasps> fucking go, boys. Okay, so the really the first nice one time. is... Yeah, I really wish uh, <laughs> the, the first one is 17 points of damage. Okay. And the Hold second on one... Second. Is, I'm just going to pull up the calculator because it's going to be a lot. Um, Let's see here. So we've got... I don't have... <gasps> okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. The second one. Okay. 11, 16, 21, 26, plus 7 is 33. 33 points of damage altogether, or that's just the second that's one? That's just the second attack. Okay, what was the first one? The first one was 17. 17, so 33. 50 points of damage. 50. God, fucking Christ, Mike. <clears throat> Okay. I'm pissed. He killed me. As you did it, you see Shark just fucking blind rage. You see slice up, slice down. Um, were you guys gonna say something? I uh, I just I thought Shark was down. So Shark, I thought Strahd said you were down. Absolutely, you're up. Dirt. Strahd. Strahd's here. Strahd's at the church. We have to go. He was at the church. Or he was at the church. But I, I mean, I don't know if he's there or not. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Dirt saved me. Uh, we gotta go. Yeah. Irina's still there. Is my brother there? There. Is my brother there? He was. I don't. He might still be there. I don't know. No, you you oh, watched no, as the know. portal yeah. opened. No, he's he's gone. He's alive. Okay. But he went through some some portal. There was some gauntlet. Right, that it was, he was and under. And you noticed the collar, like it looked like the gauntlet was controlling, controlling where he was going. He was under the control it's of like this a leash. of this gauntlet, but he he was kind to me. He still has his 
wolf manity. Go ahead and roll nature on it. At advantage, because you know Venn. Nine. I'll give it to you. You know Vin. You know pack mentality. Vin smelt you on Absidy. He knows you're in my pack. We'll get him back. I was going to say, he was what? About like eight feet tall? <laughs> Let's do this later. Yeah. Okay. You're up, Absidy. Pleasant okay. later. Okay, we got to kill him now because we have to go. So I run up. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I don't have armor, but... I can still attack, sure. so I use my rapier, sneak attack, and an advantage, correct? Yes. Because flanked. <sighs> Two. Eleven, so is that 18? 18 hits. 18, okay. Go ahead. Um, oh, the hunter's mark thing? Yeah. Would that happen on your it's turn? It's only for me. Oh, that's right, that's right. You. Okay. Yeah, I have a retcon question. Sure. Hunter's mark lasts for an hour. I casted it twice in the mm -hmm. last two battles. Okay, I'll say you have I, a slot okay, back. Okay, so I have one slot. That's and right. Shield of Faith is 10 minutes. Would that dissipate? It'd be a concentration, so you would have to figure out which one you would do, Hunter's Mark or... Uh, is, is Hunter's Mark uh, concentration? Shield of Faith is not. It's a parchment of uh, text. But it's not a concentration mm -hmm. spell, or...? Mm -mm. It doesn't say that it is. Let me it's see. a bonus action within 60 feet, lasts for 10 minutes, okay. appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting a plus two bonus AC for the duration. I think it is. Let me just double check real quick. Okay. Um, Wait, hold on. You can call cast Shield of Faith on us too? Mm hmm Dope. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, the only thing is, you said it lasts for 10 minutes. It mm -hmm. would have taken you at least 10 minutes to have gotten here. Yeah, so that's done. That's fine. Um, like, not trying to... No, I mean, it, I, it, it, is, it is a concentration, so you would have to okay. drop one for the other. Uh, Hunter's Mark, then I'll keep up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I did 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage? 10 points. Okay. And, um, um, so, bonus action, I can attack. Okay. I have to use my offhand, which be dagger. Mm -hmm. So I just, I don't get the plus modifier, correct? Yeah. But do I, is it still sneak attack? Because sneak say, attack is just based on there being an enemy mm -hmm. in proximity and the enemy still in proximity. Okay. I would say so. You lawyered me. Okay. Oh, so I did 14 for the first one. 14. Okay. And... <coughs> 11. Okay. 11. Okay. Uh, Rufio, you're up. Uh, okay. I'm... I just realized that that's what all the C's next to my spells are. <laughs> that means concentration. Yeah. Sorry to everyone that's probably going to be furious that I got <laughs> to use Hunter's Mark and Shield of Faith. It happens. Uh, I gave it to you. One, two, I'm a buddy of bread, though. I thought it meant it meant cool. Five, cool guy. This is a cool spell. Damn it. I'm so close. Um, I will throw two javelins, I guess, because I, it, I would I also get that at advantage because he's flanked by... I wouldn't say because someone is has to be on the other side. Like yeah, if Dirk yeah. was here, I would say you're good. Got it. Okay, that's but, fine. Uh, okay. I'll still throw two javelins. Sure. Uh, that's a modded 20. Sure. And that's a modded 18. Go ahead, roll damage. 1d6 plus 4. That's 2d6 plus 4. I'll reroll both of those twos. Uh, 9 plus 8 is 17. And then Hunter's Mark for both... Uh, is, plus 8 is 26. Okay. 17 plus 8 is... is 25. 25. Yeah, okay. 25. Plus 1. Okay. And let's see what good old Dirt's gonna do. Come on, my boy. Lightning hands, lightning hands. <laughs> Magic missile, something. Hit him. Okay. He's gonna... And you see, and you see this arcane energy. Let's see if old Dirt's got it. Curious, just for me, where are you guys all at as far as health? Six. 35. 48. Okay. Um, way to go. <laughs> way to go. I had a hard chief. fight too, okay? <clears throat> well, no, I'm no, just no. hard to hit. You just have, you had an AC of 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you see... Uh, you see uh, lightning just start shooting from him and completely envelop 
this motherfucker as he takes 12 points of lightning damage. That's the max amount of damage. Cause it's boy, dirt. 12. Way to go, buddy. And you see, and as you look, you see that aura. Make a uh, wisdom save for me. Rufio. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's a seven. Okay, I had, like, my penis went inside. <laughs> okay, you got a seven? I mean, it's, and my, plus my wisdom is a tw- uh, th- 12. A 12? 12, Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you look at him, you start hearing gongs. And gongs? Like, gong, like, bells. Okay. I was like, oh, God, is he angry? And you're like, uh, you're starting to get woozy. Eyes starting, vision starting to turn black as you're looking at dirt and along this halo, this aura, you see someone, can't really get a good look, but you see someone in armor, tall, blonde hair, has his hand on dirt's shoulder as you black out. And you guys notice Rufio goes down. Rufio! Fuck! It's Red's turn. He is going to rage. And you see him, he goes, Ow. Duh. And let's see if he recharges his bleath. <laughs> bleath. And he goes, And you see him look over at you, Ham City. I need you to make a deck saving throw. As you see his cheeks start to blow up, as you see this fire start arcaying in his mouth. 20. Modded 20. Modded 20. Let's see how that does. Okay. You're still going to get a little burnt, but not as burnt. Not like dead burnt like me. Not like... (laughs) So I have um, Uncanny Dodge. Does this count as something I can have? Because I I can see the attacker. I can use my reaction to half the damage. I would any. say technically, so I guess so. So okay. you would quarter it. Quarter it? Well, you're doing oh, because half because you got the save, and then you're using uncanny dodge. Okay. Fucking hate rogues. Um, let's see. Eight. So thirteen quartered down. So it's like seven. Three. So four. So oh. yeah, we round up. We round up here. Oh, sorry. You so make, you, you see him like, the critical roll, and you kind of just bounce to the left, and uh, your uh, cloak, your hood is a little burnt and singed, but besides a uh, nice little cooking, you are fine. This is my last cloak. And he kind of clutches, and he roars again as, Shart, you're up. Okay, well, now that he's flanked, I got advantage on this motherfucker. It is 18. That is 22. And that is 16 mm-hmm. and 15. So both hit. Okay. What'd you get? Let's uh, see what we got. First attack is 7, 11, <clears throat> 7, 11 plus 7 is 16 or 18, 18 on the first hit. Okay. And 6, 7, 14 on the second hit. So how much altogether? 18 and 14. 18 32. and 14 is... 32. 32, yep. 32 halved is 16. 16. Yeah. How do you want to do this? Oh, you motherfucker. Vin, I hope you're hearing me. Fam! Oh, Lee! And I literally, I'm behind him. I'm just taking the mall mm-hmm. and just going straight fucking Eddie Guerrero uppercut from behind okay. through the legs with them all and just I'm slicing this fucker okay it's bludgeon damage so you just kind of like <laughs> you just make a mash out of everything I want his balls to look like mashed potatoes they do <laughs> as you kind of up on and he gives this groan and um roll a perception for me seven okay as um you can roll perception too. You're up. You roll percep. I perceive darkness. Just kidding. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. As you do this, you see him let go of this great axe, and it looks. You didn't really get a chance because it was kind of like he was swinging it around, and he's as he was challenging you. This is very ornate looking 
axe and it looks like it has different kind of magic gems that are embedded into it as it kind of just falls to the ground as he just dies and dirt's like what the what the fuck and we will go to rufio you are in all black it feels like you're falling free form it feels like 15 20 minutes 30 minutes pass by before your body kind of writes itself and you look around and you inhale it's fresh air you look up there's the sun and slowly you're in the middle of a town it looks like it's in the middle of Greyhawk, maybe one that you might have passed by on your travels and you look around and as you look you see it clad in all black carrying a little parcel with a raven on her shoulder she goes hello again am I dead now she kind of walks up to you and she just kind of and you just feel like hot as her hand kind of hits you no you look pretty alive to me oh god you hit hard I didn't like that (laughs) come take a walk with me okay and you're walking through this town and she goes so how was the fight? Awful. I killed an <laughs> old lady. I don't know what, why she wanted to fight, but Ah, uh, Madame did. Fiona, yes. She has been latching on to Rosin way too long. I took him from sickness about ten years ago. She's been casting... Very powerful magic, by the way. She's been casting a um, kind of a... How would I describe it? When someone gets... Uh, a certain kind of liquid and puts a flower in it and it just preserves it. A preserving spell. Yeah. Yes. She's been preserving him for quite some time. And her children are still children. How? Well, the two little boys, yes, they were natural. I mean, natural birth. They're they're all about ten. They're all infants oh. when he died. Okay. Hmm. I was very interested that you didn't try to see the little girl. I think she's a cat. There's a little girl. Poor thing. That's the cat? She thinks she's a cat. She's she has madness, you see. God. She's very sick. Um can't be can't be undone, unfortunately. There's just a, a quick sure. question. As she's walking and you're going up to this house and she opens the door and she goes, uh, uh, please. Uh, sure. Okay. I guess. And you go in and she closely slowly closes the door behind you. Yes. Uh God, tall, blonde hair, following my squire around. Is oh. there <laughs> That's interesting. It wasn't... Whore hasn't locked on both of you? Uh, no, I don't think Dirt's quite the vengeance type. No, he doesn't seem the vengeance type. That makes sense. And she kind of moves past you. And, um... It's at this point you kind of look around and you're you're in someone's home. It looks like there's, um... Kind of wailing upstairs. And coughing. Like, oh. like a baby, like, coughing. And she goes, we have to go up. Yeah, yeah, what why are we here? What is this are we allowed to be here? Uh yes. Oh okay. And she kinda goes up and you go into you see uh this mother holding her child and this child is very fussy, red hot cheeks, red head, like red forehead, and she goes, Um I'm sorry, what were you saying? I got distracted. Uh why are we here and oh, dirt what? and God and oh oh hair. the God with with dirt yeah how much do you know about the gods <laughs> not as much as a paladin probably should yeah you got to work on that and uh, you hear like the mother like sure sure no it's okay I'll, I'll I'll fetch you a bottle and places the baby down she goes hmm blonde hair blonde hair armor what color was the armor you couldn't really get a chance chance to see but it was like a kind of like a platinum like bright armor. it was shiny really really shiny and then i passed out and she kind of closes her umbrella and she um hands you it can you hold this Sh- sure thank you and she goes so sweet <sighs> terrible fever they're there and she puts her he- her hand on his head and you see her kind of scoop him up and as she scoops him up the baby's still in the cradle but it gets still and she goes, and you hear the baby smile. You see the baby smile as she's being held by the Raven Queen. She goes, oh, you're such a dear. Sickness is a terrible thing. You don't have to suffer anymore. It's okay. The mother will 
be beside herself. Isn't there something that we can do? Nothing I can do. And as you see, she kind of lifts, and you see... Not really pleasant. We don't want to stay here for the... I'm guessing you don't want to stay for the aftermath. Come, come. And she starts moving as you follow her, and the mother kind of just passes through you as she goes up. And uh, you hear her talking, and soon it's followed by wails and screams, and she goes, Never easy. Never easy. Come. And she goes back into the street. So, about this deal, you have survived. That's good. That's exciting, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the next step is, but yeah, at least I'm alive. You have a list, don't you? And she kind of nudges at your, your pouch where you keep your like your notes and whatnot. Yeah, I, I, I mean, but the, list, the right? town is decimated. I don't know where my... I paid for armor, and I have another sword, and... Like, Always looking after material things. What are you looking for overall? Fickle boy. She keeps I'm, walking. I'm looking for a werewolf. That's what I'm looking for. Ah. See, there. Is that on the top of the list for you? Yeah. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. And she goes to... It's about, like, during this conversation, it's been about five or six minutes, she goes to another door, and she opens... After you? It's not another baby, is it? No. Okay. Then I'll go inside. You go in, and you close the door, and you hear this very, like, old, like, fiddle, love violin. <sighs> she goes in, and this man is playing the violin, and he looks, and he goes, Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect company so soon. She goes, Yes, Herbert, company is here. This man has a confused look on his face, and he goes, how do you, how do you know my, and he looks, and he sees the bird, he sees the black, and she, he sees the very content, unapologetic smile, she goes, it's time, he goes, no, 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 I, I'm not, I'm not ready, I'm not ready to go, I, <laughs> I have so much, I have so much to offer, I, it's not fair, I've prayed, I've, I, I've done my penance, I, there was more time, and she goes, You had all the time you had. You get the same time as everyone else does. You got a lifetime. Everyone else gets the same thing. You get no more, no less. And it's okay. We can go home now. And she puts her hands out. And you see a very old, decrepit, shaky hand take hers as she lifts. And you see this life escape as... It looks like he stands up, and from what you can tell, his hunched shoulders, they kind of go back. No creaking. And he goes, I thought it'd be a lot scarier than this. And she goes, it doesn't have to be. So, on to the other life. And she kind of cups him, his face, and kisses his forehead as he dissipates. And she goes, so... How many lives did you take in Valaki? What did you call it? Valaki. Valakai. What? The town, Valakai. You were in Valakai. Valaki? Did you ask where you were at all? No. <laughs> she kind of puts her hand on your che uh, cheek, and it's cold, but it's warm at the same time. It's soft. She goes... I took most of the town. Anyone on that that I know? Blinsky. Ernst Fiona. Pietro. The lovely couple in the carriage. That poor fickle boy at the church. Wh Father Lucian. What what fickle boy? The one with the shovel that you tried to fight. I never tried to fight him. He picked a fight with me. You told them that you would fuck him. I, you're probably right. And that's dragon born. Stupid. <laughs> what about the little boy? Yeska. Yeah. No. No, Yeska's gone. No. Oh, sorry. Poor choice of words. He's not in the village. So 
so, do we have a pact, a deal? You see what he is capable of. And I cannot move past this plane. He is on a plane all by himself. But what happens after I bring you his head? You see Thomas and Martha Payne. That's what you want, no? Promise me that my party will be okay. I will watch over them, but I cannot intervene more than I have. We have a deal. Splendid. And you see her and she kind of... And she has this big kind of ornate black box. And she goes... Oh, I'm sorry. The the sword didn't make it. Armor, though. Sword, no. A gift of goodwill. And she gives you this black box and it feels heavy. And she goes, I'll be watching. Who is going to be pissed? Hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. He'll get over it. She kind of taps your head. And while all this carnage is going out, Rufio's breathing. He's not, like, damaged or anything. Like, he looks fine. Like, he barely got touched. He's just non-responsive. Like, absolutely. You're, like, slapping him. Shart, you're trying to, like, shake him awake. And he's just like... Duh, 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 duh. And then <gasps> he wakes up. And in his hand is this black ornate box with the crest of a raven on it. And with that, we will end tonight's session of the Battle of Valak- Valakai. <laughs> Valakai. Vakali. Oh, tits. Uh. uh also, we're, yeah, I apologize for how much I peaked when I killed that guy. I was just really excited, and there's a lot of emotion. So. No, it's cool yeah, to be excited. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's um, really cool. Let's wrap it. Yeah. So, guys, uh, like, subscribe, comment what you think is going to happen. Um, we're level six now. You are officially level sixes. We're Woo! level six. So uh, we're going to do survive some. Survive Valakai. We're going to do some upgrades, and uh, we'll be back with another episode next week. So, Woo! yeah, see share with your friends, uh... and uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> yeah. Also, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. Yes, thank you, Carlos, and happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Thanks. You booze. Couple of booze.